Welcome back. It is summertime. We love that in Oklahoma. That means families are kind of looking at the map thinking, hey, what are we going to do for a big summer vacation? And you don't even need a too big of a map, just a map of the state of Oklahoma to find some pl fun places to get away. Joining us this morning is Taylor Nelson with the State Department of Tourism. Taylor, what are some of these fun places folks should check out? Good morning. Good well, morning. it is the best summer ever here in Oklahoma, and that's because we have 38 state parks all across the state that most people right here in Oklahoma don't even know that we have. And, and there's some like gems that are hidden, it seems like, and we love for you to tell us about it. Well, one is Lake Texoma, right? I mean, that's not really a hidden gem. It's not a hidden gem, and we're joking about how it just keeps raining there, but what <laughs> might be a hidden gem about Lake Texoma is just how much horse riding trails they hmm. have there, all the things other than the actual lake and fishing that you can do. You know, they've got animals in the nature center, but if you've been to Lake Texoma, you don't want to go there. We've got Little Sahara up in northeast Oklahoma, northwest Oklahoma, excuse me. And have you seen those sand dunes? Yeah. They're beautiful. They are have you ever absolutely been? crazy. Our, I haven't, but our friends took their wedding yes, uh, beautiful. engagement photos there and they were just stunning. Mm -hmm. And that could just be like a, a day turnaround or a weekend mm -hmm. turnaround, right? Absolutely. Day turn, weekend turn. If you want to go up there, ride the sand dunes, do a little bit of exploring, and then get back in the trekker car. And I love the, for the folks down in uh, southwest Oklahoma, Altus, the Quartz Mountain Lodge. Mm -hmm. I went there when I was like, I don't know, in high school for some arts thing. And yes. it's like, and they have remodeled it. It is fabulous there. It's mm. beautiful. And I love that you mentioned the remodels. All of our lodges have been beautifully remodeled. We've got six all across the state. And you're right, Quartz Mountain is a gym down there in Southwest mm -hmm. Oklahoma. And a lot of people don't realize that tourism department took it back over. We remodeled it. That's We've right. got the new restaurants in there. And you mentioned the Art Institute. They're there right now. So if you're looking to book in June, the lodge is full, but come July, it will be open for And bonus. I love how so many kids from all over the state get oh, to yeah. enjoy the Arts Institute, and it's just kind of mm -hmm. uh, opening up a, a wide door for them. So we've got Northwest, Southwest, kind of South Central. What else? What else we've got? All right, Boiling Springs State okay. Park, Northeast Oklahoma. Nice. This one, Robin, is actually a hidden gem. Okay. I don't think many people I've realize uh -huh. Boiling Springs exists, but Wow, hmm. wow is all I have to say. They've got weddings going on up there, beautiful chapel there, nestled in the middle of the woods. If you're looking to get married, Storm, yes. I'm looking at you, I think that's <laughs> a, a venue. But the state parks, hidden gems nice. for weddings. And that. you know, they're affordable, they're mm -hmm. gorgeous, they're nostalgic for a lot of people, yes. so they have a lot of meaning for someone. How many days before you get married? Uh, 42. I knew he'd know yeah. it. I knew yeah. Taylor that he'd know it. Taylor, thanks so much for coming and sharing so much about our state parks and just the neat things that are going on with them. We appreciate you being here today. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks guys.